Hey everyone, this is Dr. Retro from dr-retro.com and it's time for another video game finds video. So, I got a great variety of games this time from ColecoVision to Nintendo 64, NES, Video Pack, PC, etc, etc. So, hold on tight and let's get to gaming. First some uh, CBS ColecoVision games. Frogger, Popeye, Turbo, Zaxxon, Donkey Kong Jr., Donkey Kong, Mousetrap, Smurf, and another Donkey Kong, and then two games that were uh, for the Super Action Controller, Super Action Baseball, and it comes with the two controller overlays, I'll show you the controller later, and another one of those games, and that's again upside down, Rocky Super Action Boxing with two controller overlays. So that was for the ColecoVision. Nintendo NES is up next big pile so let's split it in two there we go Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest Wrestlemania Steel, Ca Steel Cage Challenge Double Dragon 2 Metal Gear Punch Out Wizards and Warriors 2 Iron Sword and again there's Fabio awesome front Strider Adventure Island Part 2 Mario 2 Bases Loaded Super C which is Contra 2 also known as Super Pro Protector over here Dragon's Lair Robocop the Goonies 2, Wrath of the Black Manta, uh, Simpsons Bart vs. the Space Mutants, which I played a lot as a kid on PC and it was a horribly difficult game. I never got past the second level because there was a jump there in the mall area that was just impossible, at least for me. Jurassic Park, Rush and Attack, Mega Man 2 and Excite Bike. Then Nintendo 64, a couple of cartridges. Xena Warrior Princess, Turok 2 Seeds of Evil, Lego Racers, 007 The World is Not Enough, 007 Goldeneye, 1080 Snowboarding and Body Harvest. Then for the Super Nintendo, two small piles, Stunt Race FX, Tintin O Tibet, which is uh, Tintin in Tibet or Gaifi in Tibet, The Smurfs, Jungle Book, Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy's Kong Quest. Let's put that the right side up. Donkey Kong Country 1, uh, Super Mario Kart, uh, Tintin and Prisons of the Sun, Asterix and Obelix twice, and the last one is Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island. From the early 90s Super Nintendo, we take a step back to the early 80s with the video pack. Philips video pack, also known as the Magnavox Odyssey 2 in uh, non-european countries whole lot of different games so this is billiards space uh, oh no, laser war here's another copy of laser war um, this is chinese logic electronic table football imagine that a game like this came out back then do you think there could still be a, a table football game released nowadays and sell flipper game and just look how cool that flipper cabinet looks doesn't that look like arcade one on one? Uh, 15 is, let's see, Samurai. These are the cardboard versions. Back has the artwork, usually has a manual in here, but this one is without the manual. Then Volleyball, Gunfighter. There, you see the gameplay, that's the gunfighter. And that's your enemy. Uh, depth Charge. Number eight is baseball. Number two is pears. Then we have secret of the pharaohs. Stone sling, space monster, munchkin. Uh, I've showed you this before, but again, for people who haven't seen this, look at the gameplay shot and tell me what game reminds you of that gameplay shot. Yeah. Uh, satellite attack, air sea war slash battle. Take the money and run, which is quite a cool title for a game, it's just take the money and run. And the last one is Race Spin Out Cryptogram, which is the first cartridge. Time for my favorite part of the video, the PC big box games. This is a whole pile, actually a pile is stacked too high, can't see nothing there. So, 
By the way, did you see that those video pack games, etc., they are all numbered, like um, uh, the Saba games I showed you before, Fairchild Channel F, those games were all numbered. Imagine that now PlayStation 3 or PlayStation 2 before that were numbered games. What game do you have? Well, this is game number 2853. You can't do that anymore. So, ER, this is based on the TV series. SimCity 3000 World Edition. This is actually a loose disc that got stuck in there somewhere. Same with the manuals. Formula 1 2000. This is FX Fighter and I hadn't heard of this before but damn does this artwork look cool. And when you look on the back of the box it shows that it's one of those early 3D fighting games. FX Fighter. And there's also this one, FX Fighter Turbo, which also has great graphics or great artwork on the front. It's actually a little uh, embossed as you can see. Has some relief. Then A2 Racer 2. Like I said before, this is a Dutch game racing game, and actually it was quite a horrible racing game, but for its time, with the lack of internet, with the lack of other options, this was quite okay. And they had a lot of different versions of this game, and basically all they did was change the background. And ready racing. Then here we have Theme Park World, Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2000. NBA Life 99 and Redline Racer. We're not done with the big boxes yet. This is another pile. Um, VR Sports Power Boat Racing. Then we have Morpheus, which flips open like this. I also like this effect. I always like this effect in video game boxes. Looks really cool. Problem is, if you put those in your uh, in your cabinet and you don't have it locked up and it folds open, you're gonna ruin the box. So, Lands of Lore, Police Quest SWAT, Redneck Rampage and Legacy of Time, The Journeyman Project 3, and Redneck Rampage, I didn't play it a lot, but I really like the setting, it's a really cool, funny, old school, uh, western setting, Redneck, Hillbillies, etc. Buy it or the hen gets it. Let's see if I can show you a good gameplay shot here. It's a shoot em up game. Uh, not shoot him up, sorry, uh, FPS, first person shooter. So, some more big boxes. Gabriel Knight 3, Blood of the Sacred, Blood of the Damned. I haven't played it, but I heard from fans of the series that it wasn't the best in the series. Then, Phantasmagoria 2, A Puzzle of Flesh. Uh, this is a guide for Under a Killing Moon, Tex Murphy game. The Eleventh Hour, sequel to The Seventh Guest, and Starfighter 3000. Last bunch. Under a Killing Moon, which is a Tex Murphy game. Diablo 2, Lords of Destruction expansion set. Gunship. This is NetZone. It's a 3D graphic quest through a futuristic virtual reality fantasy world. That's a whole lot of adverbs there. And the last one is Planet Explorer Byzantine The Betrayal. Then I have one more big box PC game that I was planning on putting in my collection. Problem is, it's not complete. I bought this and um, I thought it was complete. It's supposed to come with a lot of banners, a future figure, etc. As you can see on the back of the box here, it's supposed to come with one of these figures, these banners, etc. And the figure is missing, also, the banners are missing. So I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do with this, I can't send it back, so um, trying to make it complete is probably not going to work, so yeah, probably going to sell it. Before we end up with the stuff that I'm going to put in my personal collection, let's first take a look at this amazing 70s family. Um, this is the Philips Video Pack G7000 complete in box and uh, just look at how much his dad, the dad is enjoying the game with his kid with his really 80s, 70s hairstyle and clothes, etc. And that TV, this just breeds nostalgia. If you played it, I, I'm too young for this, but this just uh, looks amazing. Really old school, really cool. The ColecoVision games that I showed you before also came with a system, and the system came with a lot of extras. So this is the system, the CBS ColecoVision, and um, this is about the age of the Atari 2600. I believe it's a bit newer and a little bit more fancy in uh, in graphic quality etc. Came with two controllers that you could just store here and uh, it has a joystick and a 10 dial, no actually 12 dial touchpad. So the extras that it came with are the expansion sets and some action controllers. 
The Super Action Controller, that's what I talked to you about earlier. This is where the layout fits that I showed in those two games that um, made the buttons uh, do something different or actually show you what the buttons do. The joystick, and here are four uh, grip buttons so you can hold it like this and play like this. There's also a little wheel here. No clue what that is for. Probably controlling as well. So there were two expansion sets with this uh, ColecoVision. The first one is expansion uh, number one and this is to play Atari 2600 games on the CBS ColecoVision. So could you imagine that in these that this would still be possible nowadays? That you'd have an expansion for your Xbox 360 to play PlayStation 3 games? No way. I'm actually surprised that it was allowed back then. But uh, it is because this is proof. And then there's expansion module number two which is a steering wheel with a gas paddle. So this is the steering wheel as you can see. These are just stickers, they don't do anything. Um, here's the gas pedal with a separate cable goes in here. And that's basically it, it's just steering left and right, there's no buttons anywhere, it's just steering and a gas pedal. So my personal acquisitions for this week and as usual I'm saving the best for last. So first is Velocity X3, this is a PlayStation set, came out only in Australia. It has the Australian version of the PAL uh, format jewel cases, so it's just normal CD jewel cases. And this is still sealed, and this actually is a really rare set. I've only seen it once or twice, and I'm really happy to finally add it to my collection. Then for the PC, the Gabriel Knight Mysteries, which is a set containing Gabriel Knight 1, Sins of the Fathers, and Gabriel Knight 2, The Beast Within, which are both considered to be the best in the series. And it also includes a graphic novel from uh, the next game, Gabriel Knight 3, and a bonus soundtrack CD. I had never seen this before. Um, I'm not into PC collecting for that long, so maybe I'm just not too uh, knowledgeable about it yet. But um, it's a really great set, a nice addition to my Gabriel Knight uh, collection, because I have all the separate games already. So then, another PC game, the Diablo Battle Chest. This came out when Diablo 2 was uh, already in stores for a long time. Same goes with Diablo 2 Lords of Destruction. And uh, Blizzard usually makes these sets to get some extra sales like they do now with the World of Warcraft battle chest, etc. And this is the Diablo version. Comes with Diablo, 1, uh, Diablo 2, Diablo 2 expansion and the official strategy guide for Diablo 2. Then a really rare one that I'm really lucky to finally have. The Elder Scrolls Adventures Red Guard. This is not uh, from the main series, it's an adventures um, yes, sub-series, I should say. Uh, so it's not uh, in the course of Arena, Daggerfall, uh, Morrowind, etc. Um, but still, it's quite a desired game, also really hard to find. And it's, um, yeah, it's a pirate adventure, pretty much. But also with orcs, etc. So that's Red Guard. Then the last game, and I've been looking for this one for quite a while, really happy to finally have it complete first release. Freddy Farkas Frontier Pharmacist. It's a Sierra point and click adventure uh, made by Al Lowe, the guy that also did the Leisure Suit Larry, which I love. Um, as you can see in the front of the box, it's really old. It's for VGA and EGA, which is really old school. And just the artwork looks amazing. It's a really fun point and click adventure that's quite obscure and, uh, and difficult to find. Another step closer in completing my point and click adventure collection. So, thanks for watching, this was the video. Be sure to check out my other videos on the channel, subscribe, etc. And see you next time. Bye bye.